Hi everyone, can you hear me? Uh, it's 5 p.m. for me. So I think that we should start with the CICD team update. So uh, welcome on today's CICD team update. Uh, you can link, click a link for the previous one uh, from, the, from the one that took place one and a half month ago. Maybe let's start with a, a few things. Uh, a first thing, actually we had Dylan joining the CICD team. He Dylan joined us as the uh, senior developer. He's great help in helping us on delivering everything that we have planned uh, in our directions. So going straight to the point, let's maybe talk about a few accomplishments. Uh, usually I uh, put in accomplishments everything that we did before uh, that release, but actually we did already, we are like on the feature freeze day for 10.6 and we are like 80% or 85% done with 10.6. So I decided to also put the items from 10.6 in the accomplishments. Uh, one of the like the best things that we did definitely like from 10.5 and 10.6 is uh, everything that is related to GKE. There was a lot of a lot of a lot of different stories uh, that we had to cover. Uh, we actually collaboratively work with other teams that helped us to uh, deliver parts of the stories, but. It seems that everything that we planned from the uh, GKE, we managed to finish that. And uh, it's actually something that we're going to promote with the uh, partnership with the Google. So uh, this is accomplishments. You can click a link to, to actually read through the items that I, I kind of mentioning here. Um, for 10.6, this is not the only things that we uh, kind of mentioned there. There is like crazy amount of other works that is happening in the backstage and uh, across the, the CICD uh, product. Uh, we actually had crazy amount of different bug fixes uh, that we implemented uh, for uh, artifacts and traces, something that we work uh, in the scope of the scalability of uh, CI on GitLab.com and GCP migration. We had also a crazy amount of different small improvements that uh, not all of them are mentioned, but are related to the uh, performance of the uh, CI and reducing the technical depth, something that we are uh, fighting very hard. Uh, why I'm mentioning technical depth? Because this is actually one of our lowlights. Actually, this is probably the first time uh, in, like, in our releases where we hit something that you could, you could nicely name technical lockdown. So basically we had uh, that much of the technical depth in some area of the, of the product. In this case, it was the variables processing that even that we had the feature uh, like red, we decided to not ship that uh, because it would introduce uh, the bigger problems uh, in the next release because we would have to rework, rework this code completely. So we basically decided that it's not worth to introduce something that is not up to our expectations and not up to like the users, what they kind of uh, presume how the feature is working. Uh, and instead focus on getting this resolved and be uh, confident that this is like the approach that we should take. If you click on this uh, link prevented us from shipping a major feature, this is actually the uh, variables expression in only an exit syntax. Something that is uh, very useful for um, all our templates and auto DevOps that makes it makes them like super flexible because user can configure uh, the template without uh, creating their own GitLab CI YAML. Um, also, like the second of the low lights is like we've been working hard on the GCP migration. Uh, but like a lot of a lot of small quicks, a lot of small bugs keeps like popping like crazy, uh, and we basically investigate patch, investigate and patch, investigate and patch, and we basically do that for pretty much like uh, last month. Uh, it seems that we are finally getting a hold of that, but this actually affects our. Um, ability to uh, deliver live beats uh, for traces, something that we plan for uh, 10.6. Uh, 
uh, but due to the fact that we had to take care of the migration code first, uh, we, we didn't spend uh, time on uh, figuring this out. So uh, these are a few of low lights, um, but there is a few more coming us from, uh, from us to 10.7. Uh, we actually have a few interesting because uh, we're gonna, as I mentioned, we're gonna uh, spend once more time to uh, try and fix the variables as the technical lockdown issue. But uh, in uh, this case, not feel the time pressure on uh, hitting the future freeze. But there is like also a lot of uh, other interesting features. For example, if you click the scale deployment, you will see a beautiful screenshots uh, from there where if you go to your environment page, if you configure configure environment, you will be able to say, hey, run this environment in 10 replicas. And if you click a save, this environment will be automatically deployed uh, uh, with the GitHub CI. It makes really powerful solution for auto DevOps because it will be supported out of the box on auto DevOps. But this also makes it powerful for users that may want to use the uh, variables that we're gonna expose during that process. Um, this is one of the feature, like other one is the project deploy tokens. We uh, want to finally make it easy for creating uh, deployments on Kubernetes that are long living. Currently, we only allow to create a token and use that for time of the bit uh, when it's running. But if you want to scale your application afterwards, uh, you don't have like the token that would allow you to fetch a registry uh, image, basically, which kind of prevents you from scaling your application across uh, different nodes. Um, as for the GCP migration, we continue uh, live traces. Uh, we plan to finally make it happen. And we continue direct upload for artifacts uh, because in 10.6, we gonna ship direct uploads for LFS. This is 10.7, see on gitlab.com. Actually, it's looking quite great because we are slowly, slowly uh, and iteratively switching our fleet. And currently the balance is that we work, that we process much more on GCP than on digital ocean. And so far we, we don't see uh, any major problems other than these problems with internal DNS. But this is like the issue that we are having from some time. And I know that this is being investigated by the, our infrastructure team. So hopefully uh, when we solve this internal DNS problem, it seems that we will be able to run fully on GCP and all our arch artifacts and traces will be living on object storage. And this part of the story will be uh, pretty much finished. Uh, hiring, we hire. Um, we are looking for more people. If you have some good candidates, please let us know. I will happily interview them. We are looking for definitely for people that are passionate about the product, passionate about the CICD space. In particular, may have like DevOps experience. It's also helpful. Uh, we work on a lot of a lot of different stuff that is related to deployments, to the continuous integration, speed of the continuous integration, something that is very important to our users, uh, but not only that. Also, Kubernetes it's it's our um, um, area of expertise. So, if you know someone, please let us know. We we'll happily. Uh, try to uh, interview this person. As for the OKRs, uh, it's looking quite decent. We are pretty much progressing on all OKRs. Um, I know that not all APs uh, are yet assigned to people, uh, but we will try hard to finish them in 10.7. And I believe that's it. This is the quick update. Maybe anyone have any questions?